Vertebrate, what does it mean and what does it have to do with you? Well, this video will tell you all about it and give you some great examples of what has them and what doesn't. Now let's get technical. By definition, a vertebrate is an animal of a large group distinguished by the possession of a backbone or spinal column, including mammals, birds, reptiles, amphibians, and fish. Let's look at some examples of vertebrates, starting with mammals. Remember that a mammal is something that lives on land or in water, is warm-blooded, has fur or like you hair, breathes air using lungs, nurses from their mothers, and starts life inside of the mother and is born living, unlike lizards. But we'll get more on that later. A mammal that you might not think of is you. That's right, you're in the class of vertebrates. Some other examples of vertebrates are bears, dogs, cats, tigers, deer, antelopes, ant eaters, monkeys, manatees, and lions. But that's just a few. Now on to fish. Remember how I said they're vertebrates too? That means they're like mammals because they have a spine or a vertebra. Some kinds of fish are salmon, carp, guppies, and trout. But a fish isn't like a mammal because it's something that lives in the water, usually has scales, breathes oxygen through gills, and lays eggs without a hard protective cover. Reptiles have a spinal column, which makes them vertebrates as well. Some types of reptiles are lizards, snakes, and alligators. And a reptile could live on land or in water. They also have scales, they breathe air through their lungs, and they lay eggs with a leathery shell, or, like a rattlesnake, give birth to live young. Have you ever seen an eagle soaring? A duck bobbing in the water? A hawk swooping in for a fish? See a penguin slide across ice? Or hear an owl hooting? Do you think they are vertebrates? That's right, you guessed it. They are. Now, birds live on land, but some spend time in water. They also lay eggs with hard protective shells, and of course, some can fly. The final group of vertebrates that we'll talk about is amphibians. Amphibians are animals like frogs and salamanders. These animals lay soft, jelly-like eggs. Their young live in water, breathing through gills, and when they're mature enough, they start living on land where they lose their gills and breathe through their skin. Cool, isn't it? So there you have it. We covered all groups of vertebrates. But what about those animals that don't have spines or vertebra? These animals are called invertebrates. <coughs> the definition of an invertebrate is an animal lacking a backbone, such as an anthropod, shellfish, worms, jellyfish, insects, and more. Invertebrates can have a hard covering called an exoskeleton or a soft body. The invertebrates constitute an artificial division of the animal kingdom, composed of 95% of animal species and about 30 different phyla. That basically means that 95% of animals on Earth are invertebrates. A large part of the invertebrates are insects like cockroaches, ants, and beetles. A few more types of invertebrates are spiders, octopi, which are more than one octopus, crabs, starfish, and lobsters. If you look closely at most invertebrates, you'll notice how they have hard coverings, like an armor called an exoskeleton, which protects the animal's soft body from harm. So now you know the many different types of vertebrates and invertebrates. You also know what makes each group of vertebrates different. And you found out that you are a vertebrate yourself. <laughs>